Coffee and a Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My little dumpling loon. <laughs> I wouldn't say little dumpling. Well, I wouldn't even say you're a dumpling. <laughs> you're rolled up and precious yes, and all of that good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so we are doing... We're always yes. doing something delicious, but we're doing a, an appetizer. And it's fun. It's fun. Yes. It's so delicious. I think that everyone around the world loves them. Yes. We're doing pot stickers. <laughs> so easy to say. I just Scream love it. it. I love I it. Screamed pot you did. I, I mean, they heard it <laughs> in China. Um, so anyway, it, they're so much fun to make. They really are. They're delicious. And and you, you probably, you maybe wonder, well, what's the difference between a wonton and a dim sum and a pot sticker? And they're and all the dumpling. Dumplings. They're yes. all super, super similar. So I'm not going to really go into much detail. I mean, there is a, like a, a Pot sticker is a dumpling. Yes. Um, but there are different. But a dumpling isn't necessarily a pot sticker. <laughs> it's confusing. Yeah. You don't really. It doesn't really I matter. I can follow you. I've Just got yeah. It. Anyway, so it it's is. got. We're we're doing this with um, a filling that does have meat. It's got pork in it. But yes. there's all different types. But this we think is just quintessential. Um, it's Chinese. It's delicious. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. So and look at these cute little wrappers that we're yes. going to wrap them so in. So those are th those are right there. I, so it's so if you can seek out um, a Asian market Asian go market, it is yeah. so much fun it's so awesome I love going to any kind of like like an Indian market or an Asian market or a Latin market because <laughs> you go in there and you just see ingredients that maybe that you're not familiar with and, and right. I just start thinking wow what would you do with that and so I love it I love um, it too if you, if you don't it's an have, adventure that's for sure it is it's just it, it, you know, it's the foodie in us that we yeah. love it so much but, but it's also it's so cool because you see other cultures other cuisines and it's right. just it's a good thing yeah so um so anyway, I got these, these are those are actually I was in the dumpling section and it was giant and I actually found these there and they're actually called pot sticker that was like well okay yeah, that'll work for my Perfect. pot sticker yeah. but you could also get wonton wrappers you can get dumpling wrappers yeah um, in major just supermarkets a lot of times you can find dumpling or wonton wrappers it's funny it's always seems to be in the produce section sort of near the tofu <laughs> I don't know why they always put them there um, but and then you know dumplings can they can be deep fried they can be steamed Themed. They can be like, the fried dumpling is fried on both sides, but the pot sticker is fried on one side, and then it's finished off steaming. The steam, yes. It's so many variables here that you're probably like, right. oh, can we just eat? Let's get started. Okay, but on. I was going to say any of the stuff that, that you, if you can't find it, you can easily order it online, and there's yeah. also other substitutes. And but yes, okay. and we'll have substitutes in the blog. We will. Yeah. We will. Okay, so let's. All right, we talked about that. Now yes. let's talk about this amazing filling. So it's it's Chinese, so there's some good variety of uh, ingredients. Yes. So I'm going to start Vegetables. off with these. These are dried shiitake mushrooms that I just got at my local supermarket. They're really commonly found. If you can't find shiitake, you can there are just you can get many different types of dried mushroom, and they'll all work. Porcini is a little bit of a strong flavor. I may stay away from that, um, but it's really, really important that you that you rehydrate these, that you bring them back to life. You don't ever want to eat dried mushrooms raw. Um, so all I did was I just I, I get about I think I got about a they're going to reduce down. So I got about a cup of the dried mushrooms, and then I put them in warm water, and then you just you know kind of stir it around with a wooden spoon, and you let them sit for 30 minutes, and they're going to just they're going to come back to life and they're going to be beautiful and they smell mm -hmm. so good. And then I just drain them through a sieve in, in into the sink and then I put them on my cutting board and then I got a knife and I just gave them a good nice rough and chop. That's it. And that's about I'd say about a half a cup. Yeah. Okay. Now we've got some Napa cabbage. And um Nap this is this has been good again this is how it started out um, so I just got again Napa cabbage you can find at most well stocked supermarkets in the produce section um, I just I what I did was I got it and I pulled away a few about three or four of the the exterior leaves they're, <clears throat> they're long and skinny as opposed to just a regular green cabbage which is kind of like a bowling ball yeah <laughs> and um, so then I will you need to always wash, wash your produce wash it wash it wash it wash it and then dry it off as best you can with like paper towels and then just give a, a rough chop just a just simple rough chop and you put that into a bowl and then you sprinkle uh, like a teaspoon of salt all over it mix it up with your hands and what that salt is there's a lot of water in cabbage so you want to try to extract as much of that water as possible so what and that the salt will do that the salt just 
pulls it right out. And uh, so again, just like with the mushrooms, you're gonna let that sit for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I just get my hands and I just squeeze that and it, you really, it's like, wow, there's a lot of water in there. I also should say when I when I cut cut these, um, when I chop them, I sort of they have a kind of a rough exterior end of them. You don't really need that. That's a little wow, sure. bitey and yeah, yeah. I, I just, I, you keep the more leafier parts. Anyway, I chop that and I, I, I squeeze that and I squeeze it and then I chop it and chop it. And then it, you squeeze it. some more. And then I squeeze it again and got a lot more yeah. water out. And then, and that's, that's what it. you're left there with. So, yeah. so, and that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. And it's really <laughs> a soft and sweet and delicious. Yeah. It's not really sweet, it's just delicious. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go, these are what are called Chinese chives. Or garlic chives. Or and garlic look at these. chives. Aren't these fun? These I would actually like put in a, a floral arrangement. Or like walk around the room holding them, like <laughs> waving them. Look at them, there they are. So they're beautiful. Interesting. This is another one of those ingredients when you go to, to the Asian market, you're like, like Ooh, that looks cool, what do I do with it? So these are definitely in the chive scallion family. They taste very much like them. Again, if you don't ha if you don't have access to an Asian market, what? <laughs> then just regular chives will work, no yeah. problem. And you're going to need a quarter cup of them. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm talking a lot. Right, okay. Now let's get started. Come on. Okay. So then we've got pork. All right. So now I'll just talk as I think I've explained everything. Yeah. I so I'm going to put that. Have. I've explained everything to the to tenth the degree. degree. <laughs> <laughs> the oomph. Okay. I so, love these so much. I know they are, and they're just so much. You can get the kids involved. I know they're fun to make. They're, they're kind of like Christmas cookies. Yeah. I don't know, it's, it's Christmas time almost, so that's what I was thinking of. Okay, so that's a quarter. It's actually kind of cool out here in Texas. I'm wearing pants for the first time in a very long time. <laughs> I know. I mean, I usually the, wear shorts. The, the neighbors, he goes out and gets the mail. I'm like, wow, there's pantless loon again. Okay, so now we've got some, okay. This is another ingredient. This is Asian, this is light soy sauce. So there's a light soy sauce and a dark soy sauce. I won't go into the details of what's the difference. It's just the dark is a little heavier and it's got a little it's more darker. oomph to it. It's darker and the other one's a little lighter it's really complicated um, again if you can't if you don't have on, access on. to that then you can just use regular soy sauce but that was light soy sauce okay, okay. now we've got sesame oil I love sesame oil yes. it's so flavorful yes. the smells are just incredible sesame oil is easy to find and then this is another kind of an Asian green. This is Shaxing Chinese wine cooking uh, yes, cooking it's wine spelled, what is it s-h-a-o-x-i NG. Something like yeah. that. It's one of those because it's so commonly used in, in Asian cooking is becoming so much, everyone's doing it. Um, I, I'm able to find it now in a lot of supermarkets. Totally. But again, if you can't, um, so a perfect substitute for that is just regular dry sherry, like good old sherry, um, or mirin, which mm -hmm. is a Japanese mm -hmm. sweet cooking wine, yep. which is definitely easy to find in the supermarkets. Okay. We're getting there, folks. Yeah. Okay. And then we've got some, this is some minced ginger. Yeah. We love ginger. Ginger, and then we've got some minced garlic. garlic. Okay, and I'm just gonna just, my fingers are clean, I promise. And then what's this? What's Th that? This is pepper. Well, <laughs> and that's uh, we're gonna do about a quarter teaspoon of pepper. And then this is this is just cornstarch. Cornstarch, okay, which is so common in mm -hmm. um, Asian Chinese cooking. It just it it's, works as a binder. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. As a binder, and it uh, it just it's I'm gonna it move really brings it all together. You, one, you think I take a long time? Well, I have a lot of ground to cover. Okay, so now when you have, if you've ever had a pot sticker, which I hope you have, and I hope you're going to make these, you you they just are begging for some sort of a sauce to yes. dip in. A lot of people just dip them into soy sauce, but let's make a really good soy sauce. So this mm -hmm. is our ginger soy sauce. It's, it's a, amazing. a dipping sauce. Mm -hmm. Now let me see if I can spiel this out for you so you can... Uh, in no, this, take your time because I have to get this stuff. Yeah, I know. It'll take a little while to get that <laughs> fully incorporated. Um, so you want you can do this well in advance, like two or three days in advance. It gets even better as it sits in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. So we start off with five tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. And then to that, we're going to add a quarter cup of that light soy sauce that we talked about. And then we're gonna do two tablespoons of the dark uh, soy sauce. Again, if you don't have access to that, you can use just regular, combine the two and you'll have seven tablespoons of, or no, you'll have a quarter cup and two tablespoons of just regular soy sauce. And then, um, then what did we do? And then we add, now we needed to add some warm water. So I just got three tablespoons of water that I just quickly nuked in the microwave. And then you dump that in, and then you're gonna put in a tablespoon of sesame oil, and then you're gonna put in two tablespoons of sugar. And that water that's warm is gonna help that sugar dissolve as you whisk it with your whisk. And then we're gonna add a tablespoon of, a tablespoon of minced 
ginger. We've got ginger all over the place. She's awesome. And then we've got a teaspoon of minced garlic. And then we're going to add just a little bit of red pepper. These are Thai red peppers. Again, they're easy to find at Asian markets. If you can't, you can just use uh, jalapeno, you, you can use serrano, or you can just leave them out. They don't really spice it a whole lot. They actually just kind of give it a little, make it really pretty. And then you, you whisk that together and then put it in the refrigerator for at least an hour. Did, did you I add do the, Did you add the um, sriracha sauce? Oh, yes, the, thank you. <laughs> so the, if you want to add a little punch, which is we do, yes. and I recommend doing this, get you some good quality sriracha, which is always easy to find in the condiment section of your supermarket, and put in about a tea, anywhere from a teaspoon to a tablespoon. Thank you. You're Stir welcome. Stir that and then put it in the refrigerator. Okay, okay. Okay, I, look at that, y'all. That is thoroughly mixed together. And it smells so good. So it now smells that, like a... It smells, know, like, smells like an Asian cooking. Asian, know, Asian, Asian cooking. Chicken. Asian chicken, Asian kitchen. <laughs> I'm just gonna make these. Yeah, please do. Um, look at how cute those are. All right, so what you're gonna do first is you're, you're gonna kind of just wet the outsides of it. The loon is making yes. pot stickers. Yes, you can either wet it before you put this in or after yeah. you put that in. It's and you wanna use a tablespoon in it. You don't teaspoon. wanna, a teaspoon. You don't wanna put too much, but I tend to, <laughs> It's, it's, it's hard stuff. for him to not because you, you do they, you want you feel like it needs more but it this Look at how cute. is just enough okay and then put it on one half of yes. the semicircle or whatever you and can, then you fold it over yeah and then you just, and that water it just because the dough it just makes it is yes. seal it adheres. Look at that now are you going to show now them the you want to do a little pleat so you want to kind of make like a Z if you can see that there kind of like our like my pants that I used to wear in Sunday school. <laughs> yes. They were very pleated. <laughs> yes. There, and then you have that. Isn't that cute? That's, that's a perfect. little messed up, but that's okay. Well, I'll make, I'll, they'll get better they, as they, I go they, they, they taste delicious. Yes. So we're going to do this. They, this recipe makes around, depending on how much you stuff them, about 20 um, <laughs> pot stickers. So we may yes. just have like five. Yes. But anyway, so we're going to do that, and then we'll show you how we're going to cook them up. Yay. Okay. Look at that cute. Oh. All right. I am stuck on these stickers. <laughs> okay, so now what we're gonna do is we've saw, I've got a, a nice large skillet here, and I've got a couple of tablespoons of canola oil. And like uh, Wesley said, we're gonna fry one side and then we're gonna steam them, finish Steams, them off. Yes, so just yes. uh, very carefully. Now, if you have a nice nonstick, that might not be a bad idea, um, but if you're gonna put them in here, I just like to kind of move them around so they don't get too yes. stuck like that one's already that's a stick. pot sticker it, it, that's why they call them pot <laughs> stickers it's true it really is um, using, on a, in there. using a non-stick is is really good um, uh, but we were using our favorite yes. sardelle here okay so now we're just going to let these cook um, for literally just about four minutes until they get nice and brown there on the go. bottom and then yeah a spatula helps you and um, then we're going to add some stock and then steam them, and then it's time to eat, folks. Yeah. Good luck, pot stickers. <laughs> <sighs> okay, All so right. just real quickly, so what we did, we, we cooked these in the oil uh, for like three to four minutes. Just check, you'll see the, um, keep them scooting around so they don't stick, the pot stickers. <laughs> then lift up when they're nice and golden brown. Then all you're gonna do is you're just gonna pour in, that pan's gonna be nice and hot, so kind of stand back, they're ready. Um, for You wanna add a quarter cup of chicken stock, and then that's gonna steam it. Yes. You're gonna put the lid on it, and they've now been been going for five minutes yes. and um, uh, beautiful so gorgeous that is the way you want them to look so Yay. Um, oh they're All so right. good so let's put them on the, this cute the, the, the the most of the liquid will have evaporated let's look at that oh Yum. so gorgeous Oh, so good. I love it. I love it. I love pot stickers so much. Be a little don't, careful. Yeah, don't ruin your pot sticker. I know I know be a little careful when you're flipping them <laughs> I mean when you're doing this because they they <laughs> As the name says, they like to stick to the pot. <laughs> How many times are we gonna say that? It's a joke that never gets old, does it? <laughs> Apparently not in our house. Yes. Okay. Great. Oh my gosh. Now this. Okay. So just oh, <laughs> yeah. sticking to my spatula. <laughs> the spatula stickers. So. Um, just now you may be wondering why didn't you cook the meat before you did it before you did this because it cooks perfectly in there they, they just cook you don't have to cook the meat and also we did half of the recipe you may be wondering that doesn't seem like all of them we just did half because mm -hmm. again he's only eating today <laughs> <laughs> look how great those that look that is so awesome this is perfect to serve I mean, I know we're not doing parties nowadays. I mean, we shouldn't be, um, but you know. I love this little dish set too. <laughs> I know you do, I know you do. But you know, to serve for just, it's such a great appetizer. You know, turn on the Orient Express and make some Chinese food. <laughs> 
That has nothing to do with, with China. <laughs> I know, I know. That was probably inappropriate. But Asian food is just fabulous. Yes, it's it is. Best, All right, I'm going to try and not burn myself because these came straight out. Of, I like to get this nice and... That sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the smell. Sorry, folks. Okay, this just may take even longer than all. <laughs> I, I'm right there with you. Mm, mm, mm. I'm sorry. Usually we would have these on a little plate for our individual servings, but we're family. That's his individual <laughs> serving. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so talk about it. Talk, oh, talk about it. Oh, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Aren't they amazing? I love, I love Asian food so much. I do too. And this is just a great representation of it. Oh, it's got all the classic Chinese Asian flavors. That filling is so delicious. I, I don't know if it's, uh, if it's the cabbage or the, or the mushrooms, uh, or the, the chives, oh. the aromatics and the, and the, so the good. wine. So good and salty. I love a good oh, salty. I know, I know. Yes, well, especially it's got this that is soy. You don't need to add salt to this because we've this got soy in it. Is the bee's the knees. Oh, you guys, this is so good. All right, this is 100% Luna proof. Yes, that means I get to pop yes. on over and have a pop. Oh, I'm I guess just gonna you're use just my gonna... fingers. <laughs> We're so family here. Yes, yes. I, I have a story about chopsticks that I'll have to tell you some of them. <laughs> Great. Mmm, mmm. This is my favorite. Aren't they just amazing? Mm. This is absolutely my favorite. Mmm, 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 mmm. I just. They're so good, and they're so much fun to make. I know. Wow, y'all, you can get this recipe on howtofeedaloon.com. Wow, I just love this. I know, I want to just sit here and eat them all. You guys, go to our social media, like us, share us. Mm. Mm. Make pot stickers. Mm. You'll be so happy that you did. Um, be perfect. safe, they're perfect. We love you. Yay! <laughs> I'm sorry, I just want to eat these up. <laughs> well, why don't you stick around and eat some? <laughs> all right, bye! bye. <laughs> Hey everybody! Hi guys! Now if you want to be a part of the Loon Fun, yeah. make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you won't miss a single recipe. Ooh, that's right. <laughs> and if you want another amazing Asian recipe just like this, well then just click right yeah, here. Yeah, click. Subscribe. I mean, click subscribe. Yeah. Click subscribe. <laughs>